Mm -hmm. Oh, let me play some music. How you doing? I'm just here to, uh, like I said, I just restarted this live. So if you want to stay, then cool. If you can't, then cool. Enjoy your Friday night. Go have some fun. I'm a homebody though, so y'all y'all go have fun. I'm gonna wait till a couple more people come. I'm gonna wait till like eight more people come up here because I don't feel like repeating myself. So. I'm gonna just say I didn't watch her video though, cause I don't. I'm not about to waste my time. Um, cause what I told, what I was told was enough. Um. So yeah. What did she make? No, ma'am. That is not how you cook. But yeah, I'm going to wait um, for a couple more people to come in. And then I'm going to talk about that. And then I'm getting off live. Because I need to work out again. I'm I'm working out twice a day for strength and conditioning. Hey, how y'all doing? Just saw part of it. I, um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to wait till some more people come on live. Just like five more people. Because I don't feel like... Um, repeat myself but yeah okay so nine people up here so i'm gonna say it tell y'all what happened um i remember this is when i have facebook i don't have it anymore and god was really at that time god was really helping me to forgive and i let go so much i deleted text messages i deleted voice recordings i deleted threats i deleted screenshots of messages i mean i was ready i was ready i i had saved everything in a file on my phone i was just ready stuff that she didn't even know that i know about her i was ready to like really expose her out of a place of just being spiteful and just wanting revenge um so yeah I was ready and God made me delete all of that. And I remember when I sent her that voice message because, um, well, the voice message I sent her, let me, before I go into that, this is when I was homeless. I was sleeping in my car. It was hot. It was like July probably. Um, and I sent her a message on Facebook Messenger because I deleted her phone number. And I said, I, basically, I was like, you know what? I know a lot of things have happened between us. And yeah, I let her know what she did was wrong. I said, what you did was wrong. But you know what? I apologize. I'll be the bigger person. Because I said some very mean things. Because you start talking about my family first. You spoke about my dad. The same one that was there for you. You talked about him and he never did anything to you. He didn't do a thing to you. He didn't do nothing to you. And you were talking about my dad. And I still defended him, even though he went ahead and took her side over my leg. You're kissing her butt because of who she is. So you're idolizing her. You stayed in contact with this person, knowing what she did. You stayed in contact with her. And I was very upset about that because I'm like, wow, you, you, you quit to kiss her butt get over it she's still a human being but you decided to stay in contact and still support this evil person you know what she did you heard what she said about you and you still stay in contact with this person because you want to feel important 
because you want to feel some type of way well, after I didn't def after I have defended you I'm really just getting started so you ain't miss nothing cam so I'll never forget I did this was last summer I was sleeping in my car I was homeless and God was working on me with forgiving people forgiving my family forgiving her because what she did was very evil she started talking about me on Facebook and stuff like that. She started talking about my family. And I said, you know what? Even though you started all of this because you're delusional, something's wrong with you. I apologize. Because I'm the bigger, I can be the bigger person. God was really breaking that pride down with me. I said, I apologize. Because, yeah, you talked about my family, so I talked about your mama. Indeed. I talked about your delusional family. Indeed. Because you talked about my family. And despite what we got going on, you're not about to talk about my family and think I'm not about to clap back. And I did. And that's the truth. So I said, you know what? Despite you initiating all of this and you started all of this bull crap, I apologize for what I said because despite who started it, which you did, I apologize. What I said was wrong. What I said, it was wrong. You was talking about my daddy, so I was talking about your mama. You was talking about my family. You you were upset because me and my dad bond. That's what she was upset about. That's how it started. Every single time she would see me and my dad talk on FaceTime, laugh, joke, whatever, she would catch an attitude. I'm sorry that you didn't get to didn't get to experience something like that with your dad. I'm sorry that your dad only really started talking to you when you started coming up. That has to be the worst feeling ever. And I don't wish that on nobody. So I'm sorry that you had to go through that. That is literally the worst. What, you want to start talking to me when I make it to, on the Olympic team? When I'm like, that is sad. I wouldn't want that nobody. But you being jealous because the relationship me and my dad had. Okay, so make sure when you have the children that you have that they have what you did not have. Instead of being a sore loser about it. Instead of poking your lip out about it. Go heal. So yeah. You talked about my dad. And you tried to make it seem like we had sexual relations. Because, because I had a healthy relationship with my father. You want to make and spread rumors saying that we had sexual relations with each other. Because me and my dad had a good relationship. That's not cool. So yeah, I sure did. I spazzed out. I went off because I'm not even, we don't even rock like that over here. We don't even roll like that over here. You're crazy. Like something's wrong with you. You're upset because at, it, I had a picture of my dad holding me like a baby with my grown at my grown age. And I still got that picture. Despite how my relationship is with my parents now, I still love them. But you're not about to play in my face and you're not about to disrespect me. And you're not about to manipulate and gaslight me. I can love you from a distance, but don't play with me. So it's like, you're mad because all your family do is argue, fight each other, throw glass at each other. Her nephew, her oldest nephew, he, he, got, he, cut, his le he cut his foot off of some glass that was on your floor that you didn't properly clean up because... Your family like to fight each other 24-7. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about Officer Pulley having to always pull up to your home. Because you you sit there and you're always starting stuff with your family. Or or there, there was some beef with you and your oldest sister. Or it's just always something. Let's talk about that. How I always play peacemaker. So yeah, when the situation went down with her trying to get her friends to jump me and whatnot. The offer that that same officer that came to her house like five, six times in a row because of the drama that you always bring to your house. Like this same officer that was there for those six times was surprised, like, wait a minute, something no something adding up because Jada is always the one playing peacemaker. So why is Jada fighting now? Why is Jada cursing everybody out now? Why is she going ham on everybody now? Because she was just playing peacemaker. You saying you got papers on me? What? You got papers on me for... So let me go back a little bit. So like I said, I apologize out of being a bigger person because that is something that 
you could never do. You're not mature. You're not built like me. I'm cut from a different cloth. You're not built like me. And I say that humbly and respectfully. And being that God helped me to break that pride down and to forgive, I say, you know what? I ask for your forgiveness. Even though I didn't put you through what you put me through, even though I didn't put you through harm's way, even though I would never sit there and try to fight you for no reason, and even though I would never try to gang up on you and try to get people to jump you, bro, that could have went left. That was nobody but God that protected me. That could have went left. What if somebody had a gun? What if somebody had a knife? At the red roof, and you want to call everybody and their mama from the club, and you're drunk. You're drunk because you have a drinking problem, Miss Tito's. You have a drinking problem. Embarrassing. Me having to cover your butt. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about you you being sloppy and me always playing Captain save a Because it's always funny when I decide, you know what? You're not going to keep treating me this way. You're not going to keep putting, making me feel so little and I stand up for myself. It wasn't a problem when you were, when you were, you know, put me down and I was I was letting it slide I kept letting stuff slide with you it wasn't a problem but as soon as I spoke up for myself it was a problem it's a problem now because let's talk about it let's talk about you having a money a, a purse full of cash and not one time have I ever thought oh she's drunk she's like real drunk I can I can rob her where I come from you know people rob each other all the time I'm not built like that. I would never. That's not my character. That's not me. And I'm not here to prove it. Believe what you want to believe. I'm sitting there be bringing you to the house. Cleaning you up. Making sure you got your night clothes on. <laughs> making sure your hair is wrapped. Make sure your bonnet is on. Your little bonnet is on. Making sure we're in the house safely. You're sitting there drunk. When we go out. People are is eyeing your bag, and I take your bag, and I put it across my chest because I'm sober. I don't drink. I've tried it before. Yes, I have. My first time trying to drink was with her. I tried it before, yes. But I'm not a drinker. I'm not a smoker. Let's talk about you. Let's talk about me always protecting you when we go out because you're just so, you, you, you try to be so friendly with everybody. You love the attention. You seek attention. That's your high. Let's talk about that. No, nobody likes to talk about those things, though. Nobody likes to talk about how that person that nobody knows was always there for you. Even when your own family did what they did. Even when your own family plotting against you. Who was there? A little old Jada, a little short Jada, a little 411 Jada that can fight. <laughs> whether I'm in the ring with the referee or whether I'm out here in the streets. With no referee. I know how to fight. <laughs> I know how to defend myself. I can put you in the arm bar in less than 10 seconds. I know how to defend myself. Let's talk about how you kept putting me down and letting others disrespect me. I still stayed down for you. Because why? You're like my sis. You're like my big sis. You wanted to make weird decisions. And you wanted to make decisions where I know it could really make your career fail what did i do as a friend what did i do as a friend i was like yeah you know what i don't think that's a good idea i'm not an enabler i've never been an enabler rest you you might not want to do that <laughs> didn't we just read our devotional this morning you ain't talk about that let's talk about it how you come in the guest room that you had for me, which I can say that it's certain things she did for me where I'm like, wow, I really appreciated that. But when I start to see you did all of that for evil intentions, just to say, just to say you did it, just to try to have one up on me when I was just like, oh my gosh, like that's really my sis. That's like looking like a dummy. <laughs> it's crazy. It's the middle of the night and you're mad because what? Tony stood you up. He was supposed to come over at 9 p.m. And it's looking like it's 3 in the morning. He's still not there because he's doing what he do in the streets. And I'm like, it's okay, Russ. It's okay. We sitting there, two big crybabies. Because I'm crying because I got my heart broken. And she's crying because, like, why did this always happen? Like, in my little self, 
is holding your big self. <laughs> and we're like, it's okay, friend. It's okay. Let's read a devotional. <laughs> no, nah, rest. No, nah, don't get that evergreen juice. Don't get that evergreen juice. Don't pick up that bottle of alcohol. Put it down. Let's go read a devotional. It's okay. My heart hurts too. Nobody want to talk about that. Nobody want to talk about because you're not healed, that you're not really good with kids. So that when your nephews and, stuff and your niece would come over. Oh, let's talk about me nursing your niece back to health. You know, the same niece that got abandoned. We go to what your sister's house and the house is dirty and the baby is screaming and you have two little what nine-year-olds at the time twins watching other kids and they look terrified themselves let's talk about how i'm like well you know rest after we're done training we don't really do anything and i don't want to go out this weekend just just tell the kids to come over i'm tired i, I don't you know don't get me wrong she loved her her nephews, she loved her knees, but I'm tired. I don't really, you know, I really just want to go out. It's, a, it's okay. You can go out. I can watch the kids. I can watch the kids because I'm nurturing. You're saying, Pastor, the one that told me I have a gift with children. Because it was during COVID. The church was shut down because of COVID. So we always had church outside in this park. And he told me, I remember he told me that I have a gift with children. I'm like, it makes sense. I didn't look at that as a burden. I'm a real friend. I'm a real sis. Yet you want to, okay, let God deal with you then. Let <laughs> God deal with you. Let God deal with you. I warrant you. It's nobody but God that I, I'm healed from everything I went through with this lady. You want to say you got papers on me? What papers? Oh, you're talking about in 2018 when we were, what, still talking on the phone? With that I tried to commit suicide and got help. The same help you need, the same help you and your family actually needs. I'm saying they're going to therapy over people that need to go to therapy. Never had schizophrenia. Never had that. But suicidal thoughts, yes, I did have that. Did I try to hurt myself? Yes, it started at the age of 16. I tried to commit suicide. Because of my upbringing. That's what happens when you have narcissistic parents. Tried to commit suicide. My sergeant from junior ROTC that Monday morning, that Monday, later on in the day, not morning. Why did you try to commit suicide uh, yesterday? How do you know that? Real man of God. Anointed my head with oil that day and prayed over me. Fast forward, 2018. At 20 years old, I tried to commit suicide after the Golden Gloves National Tournament. Oh, you want to talk about what? The mental disorders that... you? Oh, you're talking about the same mental disorders that God healed me from? Because let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Yes, I tried to commit suicide. But you know what? My misery don't need company like yours. Yeah. My misery don't need company. It don't need company. I went to go get help. I allowed them, I signed the paper and said, you know what, put me on that, on that ambulance as much as I don't want to go because this is uncomfortable because I have a, a, a family full of family members that feel like they don't need help, but they're, they have all this trauma. Oh, I don't need no help. I survived what I went through as you're holding a 40 in your hand. You know what? It was uncomfortable. That was the most uncomfortable thing I ever did in my life. But yeah, go ahead, put me on that ambulance and drive me 45 minutes to an hour to Williamsburg so I can go get the help that I need in that inpatient hospital that I spent that I spent almost two weeks at to go get help. And even in the midst of me needing help, I still helped others. I was a light to others. Something as simple as, as me laughing in the middle of the night with my roommate brightened up everybody's day. Something as simple as we're in groups and nobody want to talk to each other. And I start off the first conversation. Oh, let's play this game. Oh, let's do this. Oh, let's do that. Oh, the food schmack here. Oh, let, let's let's bring our, let's everybody sit at the same table. Everybody do, like, yeah, go ahead and talk about it since you know so much about my experience. Please. Please. Even a woman 
I will never forget her name. Named Etna that couldn't even speak English. I know a little. I know a little bit of a little bit of Spanish. Made her feel welcome. And it was not only them, but it was also the staff that were very sad when I left. Because I was a light. All glory be to God. All oh yeah, yeah. This channel right here really gonna glorify the kingdom of God. Not some rap. Not some not some trash rap that's not gonna glorify him. So yeah, please talk about that. Since you know so much. Yeah, I had a major depression disorder. Yeah, I took medicine. Yeah, I did. And my story is going to glorify the kingdom of God because it's going to help several other people that's going through the same thing. And guess what? Now I don't have to take medicine. Now I'm free from um, suicidal thoughts. I don't want to hurt myself no more. I don't hear those those demons that were trying to this. I don't I don't hear the spirit of death that's saying go jump over the bridge. I don't entertain intrusive thoughts, which are demonic. All glory be to God. I can say that I'm healed, baby. I can say that I've done the work to heal. What have you done? Nothing. I can say I went through my job season. I went through my refining process and God brought me out of that. Because he's calling me higher and I'm going to use my platform as it grows. I don't care. I had 100 subscribers and I still did stuff like this. So go ahead, baby girl. Tell, tell the story you think, you know. You got papers on me? I got papers on me too. I can call the pavilion right now. I can mail them to you since you're so obsessed. You know, the same God you claim that you believe in, you don't even devote to. <laughs> what? Because you said a scripture and a trash rap saying you reap what you sow as you continue to curse and call somebody out their name. That is really glorifying the kingdom of God. Oh, because I will never sit there and buy a, what, 100K necklace when my... When my town needs clean water. Yeah, let's let's get it together. I'm the last person you need to worry about, sweetheart. I'm going to tell my story and I'm going to keep telling it and I don't care how anybody feel. You want to sue? You can try. But no weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon formed against Jada shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against Jada shall be condemned. You will be condemned. I've already warned you. I've already warned you. Now, God, now you got to watch God vindicate me, humbly, respectfully. Now you have to watch God vindicate me. I've already warned you. And despite what you did to me, is nobody but God that I have a softened heart. It's nobody but God that I can talk about the situation and not get angry. <laughs> And not get upset and not start shaking and not wanting revenge. So we really want to talk about we reap what, you know, you reap what you sow. That's for you. That's probably why that came up. It wasn't for that trash rap that you made. It was for you. It was for you. Yeah, you do reap what you sow. You mess with a king's kid. You mess with a true prophet of God. really hate for what's about to happen to you i really do even now because the thing is you won't comment you won't like which i don't care for that but i know you either are watching this or you're gonna watch it and i'm gonna say this again while you still have the little bit of time that you have sweetheart go repent i don't want no apology i don't care for an apology i used to like oh, i deserve one like yeah i used to Baby, you don't have to apologize to me. I don't care for that. Go repent. Because my God don't play about me. Yeah, this the same woman that you trained with for a small amount of time, that boxes as well. That's professional. House caught on fire for playing with me. Because my God don't play about me. Yeah. That's why her house caught on fire. I'm in a whole other state. I'm in the state of Virginia. She's in a whole other state. This other person, this other coach that did me wrong. Whole nother state. They house catch on fire. His gym catch on fire. Her house catch on fire at the same time. They put up GoFundMe's at the same time. And I didn't even know anything about it until a friend 
reached out to me and said, Jada, do you hear about so-and-so and so-and-so? And so? Her house caught on fire. His gym caught on fire. And they put up GoFundMe's at the same time. Look, look at the time. Sending me screenshots. I couldn't speak. My mouth dropped. I wasn't even on social media for two weeks. I felt bad for them. Even though they did what they did to me, I felt bad for them because God don't play about me. I said, was anybody hurt? She said, no. I said, good. Okay. That's a warning. I hope they heed to the warning. I hope, hey, as long as, I, I hope nobody was hurt. I'm, it's sad that that person home got caught on fire, but Jada, didn't she do this to you? I know, but I, I don't want that ever to happen to somebody. I don't get nothing out of that. But you've been warned. You've been warned. <laughs> you've been warned. Sad to say, like I said, yes, I said it correctly. I had, past tense, a good relationship with my dad. And you know what? I've seen it with my parents. I've seen it with the sister I have. Even the grandmothers. Even cousins, aunts side with this person because of the jealousy jealousy is at an all-time high not y'all being jealous when i was literally at the lowest point of my life what i didn't even know who i was that's crazy that's a word for somebody you know you don't understand why people are being jealous of you or i don't i don't even they have a better lifestyle than me they got more money than me did you know people will hate you just for how other people love you? That's true. And I didn't believe that for the longest time. I said, how? She got this home. She got a three-bedroom, two baths, a two-full bath, and a half, 2.5 bath. She has a little bit of land. She has, you know what I'm saying? She got more. She got two cars. You know, her, her career, she's doing well with that. There's no way she's hate, hating on me for what? I was very, I didn't understand that. I said, there's no way. I said, she literally has what I'm working towards, what I want. But I'm not jealous of her. I'm sitting there locking your bedroom door because you have family members that came over and was stealing your stuff. And you want to be mad at me for protecting you? But I didn't understand. I said, why would this person be jealous of me? I said, there's no way until I started seeing I'm like, but I care about her. That's literally sis to me. I thought she was my sis. I really thought she was my big sis. Why don't she? Did she play the whole, what? You played, you decided to play a snippet of a clip when I didn't sent you like three voicemails. I mean, th three voice messages on Messenger on what I really said, but you want to play a snippet? and flip it you want to manipulate okay do what you need to do baby girl <laughs> do what you need to do it's sad you could really care for a person you could really prove to them that you love them that you are about them and they will find the slightest thing to not like you Sitting there saying stuff like, oh, I can't wait till we argue. I can't, I can't wait till what? And your and your your niece, your oldest niece looking at you like you stupid, like rest be bro, move around. That's what that's what she would always say. I ain't gonna say her name. But she would always say that rest, please move around, bro. Move around. Cause you're doing too much. She don't even mess with nobody. You talking about something you can't wait till something happens. You can't wait till we have a fallout. You said that four times and then said it again when all your family was over and your cousins, the one that let me drive her car to pick up a drink, like juice and stuff and sweet tea and stuff for us was just like, bro, what is wrong with you? Like, get it on mess with nobody. Leave that girl alone. You and your sister, Brianna do that. Jada don't do that. Like you, you can't do that with everybody. I was like, yeah, I don't even entertain stuff like that. Like, why are you, you, you doing too much? But as soon as I acknowledge, not in front of everybody, not in front of everybody, in private with you at your home, when it was just me and you, as soon as I say, 
yeah, I don't like how you, you just getting too comfortable disrespecting me. Why do you always do that? Why do you always treat, why are you starting to treat me bad? Or like, you talking about me to your friends? The same friends that you couldn't even get to spend a night with you for a week? And they just go to work in the morning and come back? You the one that wanted me to live with you. I didn't ask to live with you. I didn't ask you to take care of me. I was getting my own apartment. Because I wanted to move out of state. I didn't ask for this. I came here for you. I literally came here for you because I didn't like how you were talking. You want to talk about mental issues. I didn't like that you said that you were depressed and you just felt like you didn't want to be here no more. I didn't like that. I didn't like that when I saw you, you were heavy, like you were over 200 pounds. And I'm like, yeah, this is not normal. You you are never, you're always disciplined. You always stay within eight pounds with your weight class because that's what they taught you at the Olympic Training Center. I had a coach named Coach Green that, that had us like that. He was a coach. He was the coach at the Olympic Training Center, uh, Kevin Green. And he would be like, all right, stay within eight, uh, 10 at the most, but don't. So it's like to say that you are 200 plus pounds and you're saying you're depressed and I can see it. Yeah, that's a problem for me. And if you and, and if you're my friend, I'm be like, you know what? Forget it. I'll pause my healing process to come and, and be with you so that we can get back to the old Clarissa as far as a happy Clarissa. That's the kind of friend I am. I could be hurting myself, but let me pause my healing process. I ain't doing that no more. I'm healed now. But I decided long ago, I say, I ain't doing that no more. I'm focused on me. But there was a time where I paused my healing process when I was 22. Paused my healing process for you. Because I, I needed you to be healthy. But you got all these so-called friends, all these fake friends that literally live five minutes away from you. And they couldn't spend the night over your house for a week. They couldn't give you a week, but that's your friend. That's your friend. But they couldn't give you a week. They couldn't give you a week. Clarissa, to be like, let me be here for my friend. Let me be here for her. Because when we go out, she's always paying the bill. Like, stuff like that. Every time we go out, and when it's time for the bill to come out, everybody gets quiet and look at you. I could have $35 to my name, and I'm going to pay for my meal. Okay, Clarissa, you're going to pay for everybody else's meal? I got us. I'll pay for us. If the babies are here with us, like if her nephews or something, I'll pay for us and I'll pay for the babies too. And them same friends, them same people you call friend. Looking at me like, oh, what? Because I said I'll pay for you? Okay. The only time somebody call is when they need money. I ain't never asked you for money. In fact, I bought you clothes and gave you money because I was just grateful for the good work, the good training and stuff like that. And we have, I can't say despite that last month, that last month and a half that I was with, you know, training with her, living with her. Despite that, that little month and a half, the other three months was, we had a blast. We were never best friends, but we were lit at your pool party. Had a pool party all the time in the back of her house. Always had get together. Always played cards. Just had fun. For those first three months. And you know what? It'd be times where I'm like, dang, I do miss that. I don't hate her. I just, you're not finna play in my face. I'm, I'm not all everybody at home that be kissing your behind. You liking to go to Walmart because you like the attention. Okay, I guess. But I'm not those folks that be kissing your behind because of who you are. I don't care who you are. You could be up here one day and God will silence you and you will be, yeah. Nobody would remember your name. That's why it's important to stay humble. The humility have to be there. 
ain't no way I'm going to wear a 100K chain and not take care of my hometown. Not saying you got to spend your money, but where's the influence? Oh, yeah, but you did say um, you don't care because you don't have to go through that no more. You said that. Let's not put stupid. We were in a car coming back from Walmart. I will never forget that. I asked you, I said, hey, you wear the color blue a lot in your hair. I like how you're about your people. Not saying you have to spend your money, but would you use your influence so that they can get clean water? Oh, I ain't got to worry about that no more. I live in Flint Township. Oh, but didn't we just, the other day we went to your friend house and remember she was, she, she had to boil the water to actually use it and, you know, brushing her teeth with a bottle of water like that don't, and then your nephews and stuff, you see their skin breaking out like that don't bother you. I don't care. Oh. That was the first time I realized you're not who you say you are or who you try to portray to be on social media. But it's fine. When God bless me with whatever he blessed me with, I will be sure to take care of my hometown first and then Lord's willing. If it's meant for me, if I'm anointed, if I'm approved by God to help Flint, when he does put me on a platform like that, I would do so. And many other home and many other uh, states, not just those two, but that's if he anoints me to do so. That's if, if he gives me the approval to do so. So, yeah. Let her talk. I'm going to read the comments. But she can say what she want to say. watching her video d it's no point um it's just no point and although i can address it um but i just know how she is you know what i'm saying there's no i'm not wasting my time watching her video um and i even heard god the other day say don't worry about it like don't even watch it it's whatever and i don't know Maybe he told me that because if I see it, maybe I will get angry again. Maybe that maybe that I will have a hardened heart if I watch it again. You know, you never know. Sometimes you don't know the reasons why God may may say don't don't watch this. Um, because I may think, well, it's not gonna affect me, and you killed me. But maybe if I maybe if I would have watched it, maybe it would have opened up a door of me just, you know what? F this. <laughs> I, I, I've calmed down a lot, not cursing, but maybe it'll open up a door for something where I just didn't need to open that door. So I, I feel you on why you said I need to watch her video to address it properly. But we are, I mean, I already know her. I know her like the back of my hand. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I know her like that. So it's just like, it's no need for that. But I'm just glad that I could say what I said and not be angry about it. Um, yeah, I'm I'm glad because once upon a time I couldn't do that. Hey, Lamar, period. <laughs> um, yeah, somebody said this is a very mature, exposing all honesty, no petty shade. No, there's no need for that. Um, I'm going to expose what happened to me, what I went through and stuff like that. But I love this saying. It says never address address shade from a tree with no fruit and then the word of god says i shall know you by your fruits and when it comes to the bible the fruit comes from the holy spirit and you don't have the holy spirit you're not led by the holy spirit you don't sit in the presence of god you do not abide by the almighty by the most high you don't so I love that saying and I love that scripture because it just, you know, it makes so much sense. So it is what it is. Um, and then I know like people are going to people love idolizing celebrities as a whole, not just her. So people gonna feel some type of way about me saying what I said, but you had no problem uh, with the narcissist. Um, I like to call her Pharaoh because Pharaoh had a hardened heart and he was full of pride so you know her name is pharaoh the only reason why i said her name up here was just to address the situation and you know she has um p 
people that she don't think I know that tells me what's up or stuff that she's saying. I, I don't even be caring. I'm just like, oh, okay. People that didn't even really, like, believe in my God, just them seeing how I react or respond to th- to her ignorance or whatever, like, it's even helping them with their walk with God. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what it's about, you know? Um, I just know that she's going to take the time because, you know, somebody messy going to say whatever to her. And I know she's going to take the time to see this whole 40 minute <laughs> whatever live. And it's going to eat her up because the thing is, when it comes to the Holy Spirit, he does the convicting. I don't do the conviction. I don't do the conviction. If somebody tells you something and it's from God, the true living God, and it's, you know, it, and it convicts you, you start to feel guilty. That's the Holy Spirit. That's not the person. I can say that for me. You know, if you have somebody that devotes to God and let um, him lead in God, it's not the person. It's the spirit. And I dwell in the Holy Spirit. That's the only spirit I dwell in. We don't do no witchcraft or nothing over there. We do healing and deliverance and prayer over here. And so far, these lives that I've been on, people have been set free. You know, people have been able to sleep. Just something as simple as sleeping for the last couple of nights. People have been able to sleep. People, anxiety attacks and stuff have calmed down. I'm God's vessel, sweetheart. I'm his daughter for real. My platform will glorify the kingdom of God, no matter how many subscribers I have. It will glorify the kingdom of God. People will be set free. People will not have issues with poverty and finance issues. People will be released and clear up here they will have power love in the sound mind scripture said for god has not given me the spirit of fear but a power love in the sound mind they will not be bounded by fear in the name of jesus that's what my platform is going to be about fighting in the ring and fighting in the spiritual realm because this is a war like i said earlier it's cute to be like you know what i give my life to christ i give my life to jesus christ okay that's cute but you just enlisted in the war. Do you know how to fight? So I can teach you how to fight both ways. I can teach you how to fight spiritually. I can teach you how to fight physically. And that that's what this channel is going to be about. That's why I said I'm going to make a series on how to fight um, spiritually. How to war against these demonic strongholds on your bloodline. How to war against these demons that y'all be battling with every day. And a lot of y'all are so in denial on this act. Well, I, I don't believe that witchcraft does anything. I don't I don't believe in these demons and I never said give power to them. I said know your authority, know your power in Christ that you can defeat these demons that you deal with on the regular. A lot of y'all just be feeling like I'm just coasting, I'm just existing, I'm just paying bills, life be life in. But God be God in. God be God in. So do you know how to fight? Do you know how to fight spiritually? Because that's what's important. Scripture says, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world? But then your soul is empty. So who cares if you have all this money and cars and fame and you're getting all this attention? Your soul is some trash. It's empty. You don't have him. I don't care if you have, like her, I don't care if you have a 100K necklace around your neck. You don't have the Holy Spirit, sweetheart. I don't have a lot of clothes. So if y'all look at my video, you will see me wear the shirt a couple of times. You will see me... Um, wear that black shirt a couple of times. I'd wash my clothes. I have clean clothes. That's all that matter. Me having a roof over my head because I just dealt with eight months of homelessness and being refined by God. Me having a roof over my head, me being comfortable, me being able to shower. Yo, did you know like times where I was like, dang, when is the next time I'm gonna shower? When is the next time I'm gonna be able to my to submerge myself in a bath? I spoke on this earlier. I was living in my car, washing my body out of two Wawa cups. <laughs> two 48-ounce Wawa cups. Opening the door, is freezing outside. Squatting, shivering, pouring water on myself, getting back in the car, ain't got no heat, no AC. Me sleeping in my car, that's what it was. And still letting God use me. Still going to Panera, going to Panera Bread, praying over people, setting people free in Jesus' name. Slept in a, in a, y'all don't hear me, sleeping in the airport for a month, a month in Houston, 
doing praying prayer deliverance setting people free in jesus name in the airport didn't have any money didn't have no money at all to get food i would tell god in my head god i'm hungry i'm starving he used this man named enrique to go buy me something but like he couldn't even speak english he just came up to me and touched my foot hey comita meaning did you eat i was like no comita <laughs> Vamos. <laughs> he said it just like that. Vamos. Went in the line. This man gave me a ten dollar bill. The whole time we communicated, it was on a, a app called Stay High. It's better than Google Translate. God used anybody to take care of me. So yeah, you can say whatever you want to say. You can say I'm delusional. You can say I don't have as much money as you. You can say whatever you want to say. But you know what? God's been paying my bills. God's been taking care of me. The other night. I brought out the piece of paper of the time where I was supposed to get evicted. And then another letter got put on my door the day after with $3,000 being pending in my account. A couple of months later, $4,000 pending in my account on my ledger, on the residence ledger. I'd rather take faith than money any day. So go ahead. Go ahead. You can you can go ahead and I don't have the I don't have money like you. I barely have any money now. I don't have all the jewelry. I don't have all the flashy stuff. I I don't you know what I'm saying? I got I wear yarn braids and I love yarn braids. I could be rich and I'm gonna still wear yarn braids. And they don't even have nothing to do with what I can't afford. It's just better for your hair. You know, some weave breaks me out. But I feel fulfilled. I'm content in my living. Like, I'm content where I'm at. Like, I'm happy. I'm content where I'm at. I'm not sitting here flashing that I got this, I got that. No. No, I, I don't. I don't care. So people will say that, oh, you didn't you wear that in another video? Didn't you? And I did. And guess what? And I can go wash it. <laughs> like i'm happy to say i can wash my clothes now i'm happy to say i i can walk around free <laughs> i can say that i can say i can go in the kitchen and cook i can i can clean this house i can I'm grateful for stuff like that. I took a shower this morning and I just thank him for being able to take a shower. Living in the airport is not fun. But you know what? He provided manna in the wilderness, meaning he gave me exactly what I need for the season. Wasn't an apartment and stuff like I wanted at that time? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. But you know what? In the homelessness that I was in, he had people send me money because that pride, he broke it down. He broke that pride up, got it out of here to the point I was throwing up. Did you know when you have deliverance, when, when God delivered you from things, sometimes you got to throw up. Like, yeah, I've done deliverance on people and they have thrown up. Before things manifest in the physical, it starts in the spiritual. I don't care. At one point in time, I would have been embarrassed to tell my story i would have been embarrassed to um say any of this but it's not about me it's not about me it's not about me at all you know it i, I came across a lot of celebrities and i know a lot of them and they got all this money and they're not happy they're still saying what else what else something feel like is missing they're not happy. Now Now that I've been through what I went through, my job season, my refining process, well, God, now I know how to, now I know how to, what to do when he blesses me with what he's going to bless me with. And when he blesses me, it's going to make room. It's going to be open doors for others. Not saying I'm going to MC hammer my money and just give it out to any and everybody. No. But there will be things that God is going to have me do and create opportunities things that i wish people would have done for me i'm going to be able to do that for other people and that is going that that's what makes me smile that's what makes my heart light up so yeah i said what i said on that um it is what it is you know 
Let her talk. But God is going to do what he do. She said you were never best friends, Jay. Why would she say that? Let her say what she want to say, but you can say, you know what? I'll say it. I'll say this. You said we were never best friends. You're right. The friendship was one-sided. I thought you were my best friend. I kept saying, Clarissa, that's my best friend. That's my sis. That's my... No. The friendship was one-sided the whole time. So maybe she's correct. Yeah. We were never best friends. Man, I, I could sit here and be like, no, I got the pictures. I got videos. I got, you know, we we always hung out. And I said, I, I, no, nah, you're right. We were never best friends. Because the friendship was one-sided the whole time. And stuff that I would have done for you, you would have never done for me. You out here being loose, being a drunk, representing your state the way, in, in a, such a horrible way. And here I go playing Captain Save Ho. Picking you up as you're drunk. Fixing your hair. Next morning, you got a hangover. All right, let's get up. We got we to go train. My head hurt. Oh, well, it don't matter. We got to go to the gym. Like, you shouldn't have been drinking last night. I told you, chill out. But you wanted to be bit, boss, and show how much you could take it. Quick to throw that, that Tito's back on, you know? Nah. Now, we got to go to the gym. Straightening your hair because your leave out is always left out. Straightening your hair. Curling your hair. I'm like, hey, you, you got we gotta go to the gym and then after this you got an interview. Get yourself together. Let's go. Let's go. The world don't stop. These these things don't stop because um you're drunk. I'm sitting there climbing on the dresser <laughs> trying to record a video for her for a certain platform or whatever, and I'm like all right, you need to do this again. That was terrible. We're recording this again. What friend wouldn't do that? But hey, like I said, maybe she's right. Maybe we weren't best friends because their friendship was definitely one-sided. It was one-sided. I definitely will. I'm glad I didn't take myself out either. All glory to God. I can't take no credit for that. That was a, 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 dark, a very dark place. That was a very dark place for me. Thanks, D. D is my moderator. <laughs> you have been promoted. <laughs> you are one of my elite employees. <laughs> if y'all don't have TikTok, you don't know what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh. I always say that. Hi, baby Kate. Oh, I said Bobby. Lord. Hey, baby face, Keezy. How are you doing? Yeah, demons gonna be demons. These people just be letting it manifest through them. Nope. Wasn't no hate over here. I told it just like how I told it. Cleveland, Ohio. Hi. I love, I love y'all. See, it's just something about... And this is a compliment. This is not me being lustful or anything. It's just something about like certain men. It's not all of them. Some men from Cleveland, Ohio and Detroit, like just top tier, just top tier. Just top tier. Some of the calmest men I've came across, they always smell good. They work out, bless their hearts. <laughs> yeah, that is true, copper. Um, put it on the front, but she's fragile. Yeah, you, you can't fool someone that really knows you. That is true. We really will never know who we are until we really do the self work. That is so true. To know thyself, yep, that is true. I didn't know who I was, I didn't know who God called me to be until I actually spent time with Him. Um, that's why I tell people all the time going to church and really getting to know God for yourself is two totally different things it's just not the same it's not the same yep why do people say you are clout chasing when you speak upon Pharaoh um I don't know I just let people talk 
Because it's like, when people say that, honestly, you're just showing that you defend rapists. Like, it, like when people do that, when they be like, oh, you're clout chasing because I told my story. I clout chasing because I told my story. I clout, I clout chase because I'm exposing. You ain't better than, than the aunties or the women in the family that hushed and didn't say anything when their uncle or when their stepdad or whoever was, you know, sexually assaulting your daughter or your niece you you just like one of them when people say that they remind me of people like that they remind me of the of the family members that i have that they knew this 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 family member of ours was getting touched and then y'all when she spoke upon it y'all are saying oh she just wanted attention she fast like y'all want to keep calling her fast but she was sexually assaulted you know what i'm saying like that's that's what them type of people remind me of I'm crying. AB was <laughs> AB was at Walmart throwing money up in the air, walking out. Which AB? Because that sounds like a Broner thing. Broner or Bone Garner. I'm crying. Now this person's probably just trolling, but this is hilarious. It's not really funny. Boxing Genius says, so the basement was spilling like straight sex. <laughs> Well, I know what part of the video you're watching. <laughs> he must have watched my videos. You know, he <laughs> Bro, people are funny on this app. I'm sorry. Jada, keep you pure in the spirit. Yeah, the Holy Spirit, stay protect me. God, stay protect me. And I know my authority in Christ, so you're not touching me. <laughs> I definitely will keep my heart pure because there's too many times where I didn't keep my heart pure and I see where that got me. Delay, delay, delay. <laughs> yep, very self-centered, unfortunately. Yeah, he don't listen. He really don't. What you mean, Q? Wait, what are you referring to? Nobody's gossiping, so <laughs> like I don't know what's wrong with y'all. I promise to goodness, like when somebody starts telling about their story or what happened or they start addressing something, people like you are always like, Oh, it's not gossiping, that's gossiping. What are you doing for the kingdom of God? Other than like what are you doing? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Like people like you don't get it. You just don't get it. Not you being manipulative, not you gaslighting. You're weird. And that's not showing bitterness. Showing bitterness is if I was to take this a whole nother way, if I was to sit there and to be like very angry and, you know, I'm screaming at a cell phone, I'm cursing at a cell phone. Like, that's bitterness. Bitterness is not even making this channel about God. Bitterness is every single time I'm good on live, is me me being like you know you know when somebody's being bitter i mean you don't because you like the holy spirit and it shows but people like you are weird like i wouldn't be surprised if you defended rapists i just wouldn't i just wouldn't just weird anyways like i said i will continue to tell my story if you don't like it get off kick rocks eat the dust <laughs> i don't care Exactly. Jossie Ali, hello, how are you? Exactly. Those it's like those men, they'll sit there and defend her and defend other coaches that did what they did, but they'll never like it's only been two men up here and I'll say that's D and someone else that was just like, you know, that wasn't cool what happened to you. It's not cool that women get um graped because i don't know they may shut the live down if i say the r word but like yeah it just weird it just shows what y'all do in y'all private time so i don't care about this man um it's always people like that that like to run their mouth like you do nothing for the kingdom of god though if you're scary just say that if you don't engage in the spirit of boldness just say that just say that it, it would make more sense so, I know I said what I said. <laughs> um, Jay said, 
he's looking out for you. He always be looking out for me. Like, nobody can tell me otherwise. Like, when I put the warning out about judgment and stuff like that, like, I, everybody was like, but everything is so expensive. The prices are going up. I'm like, baby, I am living proof that you can have zero dollars in your bank account and look around like how, how, like, how did I get provided for? How did he, how did he do this? You, you know how, but it's like. I literally no money in my bank account and he helped me he's been making sure i've been eating he's been making sure like baby i know i know jehovah Jireh. i mean i know him as a father period i know him as a protector period but yeah <laughs> see him with your money no for real i refuse i refuse god bless me with all that money just for me to give it out to everybody and not be a good steward not have stewardship yeah no mm -mm. um somebody said were you always religious i'm not religious i always read the bible and believe in god but never grew up going to church um i'm not religious i have a relationship with god meaning majority of the time when it comes to someone being religious they put limitations on god they're bounded by fear um they only know god one way because they choose to know god only one way um, I have a relationship with God and that's what it should be about. It should be about a relationship because it's like, what are you going to do when churches start shutting down because of pestilence in it, hitting the land? Basically, like something worse than COVID. What are you going to do when cyber attacks happen or an outage happens with the internet and you can't go on live um, to, to look at your church streaming live? Like, what are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? What are you going to do? You need to know God's voice. You need to be close to him. So I just wanted to throw that out there because uh, many people don't get it. Um, God will pull you away for a season and be like, you don't need to go to church. You need to consecrate yourself. Consecrate means to be set apart. To be holy also means to be set apart. So it's like, yeah, it's different. It's different when you have a relationship with God. Um, it's definitely not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. But it's worth it. And I wouldn't want it any other way. I used to be scared of demons. And when I would get attacked. When I would have anxiety attacks. When I go through depression. When I have sleep paralysis. I used to be afraid of stuff like that. But when God taught me how to war against those things. And to fight spiritually about those things. Then yeah. It was over. It was over. Brian, I'm sorry, I'm just not like reading the comments. You touched my soul. Thank you, God, for this woman. The Holy Spirit has made you rich on the inside. Period. And that's what people don't understand. It's like, who cares? Who cares if I don't have any money? Who cares if I don't, if I wore the same shirt? I get to wash my clothes, y'all. I made my own little detergent and I get to wash my clothes and smell and smell good. I get to take a shower. I get to like spend time with God every day. I get to tell other people, but I'm rich on the inside. He'll bless me with, uh, he'll bless me financially. It's already been done in heaven. So as it is in heaven, may it happens on earth. There's just a divine delay with him right now. That's what he told me. So it's fine. Like I'm not worried about anything. And that's, that's not normal for me. You know, because I'm I'm always worrying. I used to always be worried about every little thing. I'm, I was a person where, like, I'm just thinking too far out in the future. And I'm psyching myself out. And, you know, I'll glory to God. Exactly. God isn't about being religious. You read about a lot of people in the Bible. You see how their relationship was with God. It's about being close with him. I dwell in the Holy Spirit. Somebody said, y'all from Detroit, she ain't lying. We brothers from Detroit are different. Y'all are. And if, I'm sorry. God has already shown me who my future husband is. So it's like, okay. And I love that man. But ain't gonna lie. Men just different, Detroit. They're just different. They just, they just built different. They are, uh, the ones I came across, like I said, it's not all of them. It's a select few. But the ones that are like real men, like they are providers they try to be the best man that they can be. They are healthy. They 
are in shape they are well groomed they smell nice like they just carry themselves well they're humble like that's the ones i'll come across beautiful <laughs> and did and that basement did and did <laughs> I knew it was Broner. I said, that's a Broner thing. Because who is in Walmart just throwing money in the air and walk down? In, but yeah, I don't, yeah. Who does that? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Nobody does that. That sounds like an AB thing. That definitely sounds like an AB thing. But that's crazy. I don't care how rich I am. You ain't got to worry about me. I ain't doing that. Um, fight what? <laughs> fight what? She won't even fight AB. She won't even fight Alicia. And I've already sparred her. And will. And I'm going to keep telling my story. And I'm not going to care. And I'm not going to care. <laughs> I love to see the internet shut down. It'll humble a lot of people. And will. Too many people worship this internet internet celebrities and they do. They do. You're absolutely right. I like TM because he <laughs> Okay, so listen. The one with the orange um profile that says TM Brown. I don't know. I think that's a man. I don't know if you're a man or a woman, but somebody kept asking. I, every single time I see this person's name, I just start busting out laughing because Somebody was being inappropriate on my live once, and they was like, do you like BBC? And I said, yeah, I like the British Broadcast Channel. <laughs> and I said, yeah, I watched the show Keeping Up Appearances, and so I said, I'm going to turn it on now. And I turned it on, and I put the camera over, and he's like, why are you watching that? <laughs> and that's the thing. You, you would never think I would watch British shows like that. Let people be what they are. Shout out to the seven. Shout out to the seven five seven. By the way, I was out Newport News years ago. Shout out to seven five seven. Newport News is bad news. You can't worry. You ain't got to worry about me. I will never go out there again. I only go out there for like competitions and stuff for like the local fights to support the babies. But you ain't got to worry about me. Um, Yon's Paul. That's what Sweet Pea from. They need to tear that down. It's a terrible time out there. <laughs> and did? <laughs> Y'all are funny, bro. Exactly. The twerk brothers are about respect as is. And all and is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Like some of these men are just weird up here. They're like, do you like BBC? Do you like BBC? Yes. I sure do. British Broadcasting Channel and do keeping up appearances. Don't ever turn that back on. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me tell y'all about these rugrats. I'm about to get off in a little bit, but let me tell y'all about these ferrets. Y'all know I don't play about my, um, I don't want to be involved between things going on with you. Okay. But I, I, y'all know I, I love my Vaseline. I love my lip gloss or whatever. Tell me why. Do I have it up here? Tell me why. I, I left my tube of lip gloss on the couch. And so I come back and it's little holes all over it. Like, it looked like somebody just poked a needle all over it. And I'm like, what is this? Like, what just happened? These little two, right here. Now they want to be asleep or chilling. These little two. Yeah, you. Ghost and Loki. Biting up my tube of lip gloss. I'm like, bro, we about to fight. I had to throw it away. I'm glad it didn't get sick. It didn't look like like it was this. Because I had two. 
it was this and the other one had holes all through it i'm like i can't have nothing i got a darn near baby proof baby proof for for two ferrets like good gosh someone from norfolk scared of news man this ain't even about who's hard or like you just it's just different like you could just be minding your business and i mean it's the same thing on norfolk but it just seemed like newport news is worse like i don't know it's definitely a, a demonic principality over newport news too but it's just like even it's a lot of people out Norfolk that be like, yeah, I don't, I don't rock with nobody out in Newport News because they're just crazy, bro. Like you think people crazy out in Norfolk, bro? They're crazy out in Newport News. It's like, why do y'all act like that? Portsmouth as well. Portsmouth as well. It's like, why do y'all act like that? No, I don't have any dogs. I want a dog. I want a. Uh, I don't want no Frenchie. Everybody got a Frenchie. I want like a mixed breed, like one of those dogs that just look like they lift weights. I definitely want one of those and I want to train them. But you know what's crazy? When I pray, when I pray and the Holy Spirit is thick in the room, do y'all know they just come, like if I let them uh, walk around the house, they just sit under me. Like they literally just lay under me. When I'm pray, praying and worshiping, um, they literally just come over. Then usually they're always wrestling. Like there's a video that I put up. They're always been aggressive and wrestling. Like that's in their nature. But they will literally just come and lay under me, under my feet, like and just lay there and just chill. That's not like them. You better cut it out. Stop sitting there trying to get out you're not getting out did you eat i'm not hungry i ate earlier today i ate at like <laughs> hold on i ate around like 11 yeah i ate around 11 um i'm not hungry I ate a big meal at 11. Well, I mean, it's considered a big meal to me. It was 920 calories as a whole and stuff. And then I work out, you know. Somebody said I'm fasting. I'm just not hungry. Like, I can't eat like that. I, I can't, um, I can't eat like that. I just can't. Get down. I feel like they can really understand what I'm saying because if I say get down, they get down. If I say cut it out and stop, they'll stop for a moment and then go he'll begin and do it again. Stop. Stop. Yeah, you. Stop. You're not getting out. News always talks down on everyone across the bridge. No, I'm not familiar with the... Um, are you talking about um, C4? I don't know if they're on Main Street. Um, do you watch heavyweight boxing? Jared Anderson has an upcoming fight. I think he can be the division future, but division needs more young and new heavyweight. Um, yeah, I watch him. I like Jared. Um... He just needs to know how to fight spiritually, and he'll be okay. And we all see he can fight physically, but he needs to know how to fight spiritually, and he'll be fine. And he'll be okay. He's going to be all right. As if he chooses to listen, though, because God is always talking. Do you watch heavyweight box? Oh, you already said that. Do they bite and tear up stuff if you put them out? No, they don't. For real, for real, they just like the they like to wrestle and a lot. They <laughs> not do mean wrestle like they wrestle. They like to wrestle a lot, and then they like to hide under stuff. Like Loki, I don't even know how he did this, but Loki will come and crawl under and go inside of the couch. I don't even know how he began it. He he be just sleeping inside of the couch. 
goes he likes to follow me everywhere i go in the kitchen here he go i start cooking i'm like yeah you go into your cage because i don't even play them type of games i mean they can't crawl they can't crawl or hop up on the counter because it's high and stuff but i do not like cooking while animals are just free like i'm i am not one of them mm -mm. as soon as i cook i'll be like all right time for y'all to get in here because <laughs> uh-uh get out the kitchen they don't crawl on nothing though um they just yeah they like to play a lot and if i'm like laying on the couch or something like that like loki he likes to crawl he likes to try to jump on the couch and one time he did make it on the couch but he didn't do nothing he just wanted to lay beside me which i'm surprised because that's not their nature at all like they don't they don't, well them these two they're like almost five months so they don't they don't they like to play a lot and they sleep for a long time like they just laid down they literally just woke up a couple hours ago they're about to go back to sleep i'm about to put the cover over the cage though so they can stay asleep i may gotta put some more water in their bottle too i don't know we'll see um what's up jada may god bless you thank you God bless you too. Did you see Conor McGregor high on his latest interview? He was twitching and blinking. No comment. <laughs> no comment. But do y'all see it though? Do y'all see it? Like with, with the fighters and stuff like that. Everybody's like, why everybody on drugs? Why everybody just seem high? Why everybody just coasting? Telling you that spiritual warfare be eating them up and then they be in denial. It's not that deep. If it's not that deep, why are you? Why do you have an addiction? If it's not that deep, why are you high all the time? Why? And then if they're not high all the time and they don't smoke or drink or do drugs, like they have this big, huge reputation of like being a hoe, and they just sleep with every and anybody, that's still trying to fill in the void. Trust, I would know. I have a past. Um, so Jared Anderson has a long way to go after watching him against Prince Charles, who had a two-week camp to fight Jared. You've seen what happened. I imagine if he had a full camp. Yeah, but like I said, that just ties into it again where um, he needs to know how to fight spiritually because he's dealing with a lot of spiritual warfare. That's all that is. Yeah, I put I post clips of like my old trainings and fights and stuff like that. I don't know why y'all keep saying that. Like height doesn't matter. Do y'all not watch Mike Tyson? Height literally does not matter. And Pharaoh does not hit hard. Now, does she have more speed than Alicia? Yes, she does. That's just the truth. But the power is not there. I don't I don't know why y'all feel like height matters. It don't matter, especially if you know how to fight on it. If you know how to fight as a short person, meaning like I am one, I'm 4'11", and you know how to stay in their chest and dig in the body and stuff like that, like something as simple as height is really an advantage. Y'all know how many times I done fought people, literally Clarissa's height, and they're like, bro, I hate fighting short people. I hear people say that all the time that are taught. They're like, I hate, even men. They be like, bro, I hate fighting short fighters that are just really good at angles, defense, staying in the body, like hitting stern the sternum. Like, if you press right here, that sternum shot, it hurts. The ribs, it hurts. I don't know why don't nobody get that. Like height literally does not matter. <laughs> If you know how to fight in angles and stuff like that and a defensive fighter, then you're fine. And even if you don't hit hard, if you know how to fight in angles and pivot and stuff like that, then cool.
But I'm getting caught up on boxing because I haven't, like I said, I haven't been on the scene in a little bit, in a while. So I'm getting caught up. I'm, I'm finding out fighters that I've never known about. A lot of y'all have um, told me about them, so it's cool. I really want to see him and Tank. <laughs> Tank. Y'all know how I feel about Tank. But I really want to. <laughs> I really want to see Frank Martin and Tank fight each other. That would be dope. That would be cool. I like them both. But I'm biased. So you know I'm going with Tank. Connor spoke against Yeshua years ago. Doc could explain his... Well, I don't know why people think they can mock God and get away with it. Like, people love to mock what I say all the time. But the but the spirit of jealousy and, and mockery are two demons that work together. And more than likely, if somebody's mocking you, they are jealous of you. Um, or they're jealous at the fact that you are bold in your faith and confident in yourself because they're not. I don't care it's not a problem now if you want me to pray that off you i can but you know and that's if god will allow me to now if he says no that's because you have some work to do but i can say hey god can you peel back the scales off their eyes like you did with saul you turned saul into paul in your word it says that i can do that but i don't know why people think they can mock god like logan paul jake paul's brother he mocked god on a on a um, podcast mocked his friend that was supposed to be his friend mocked his friend because his friend was so passionate about his faith and he apologized and he just started crying because he said his life was a living hell god will not be mocked so when people like mock me like she's always talking about god she's she's sitting there wishing bad on on um using god's name i'm like that's not what that is you just you're ignorant you don't read your bible you're not in tune with the holy spirit but you're not mocking me. You're mocking God. That's who I work for. That's who I dwell in. That's who I devote my life to. You're not mocking me. You're mocking him. Be for real. Age literally does not matter. Huh? Jay, you're not 51. You're not 51. You lying. There is no way. You are not 51. You're not 51. I don't believe you. I need I need proof. I need proof. You're not 51. You can't be 51. Um, I feel like if you do the Philly shell, you have to do it right for one. I'm tired of people doing that and they're not covering their chin. You're not you 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 doing like this. <laughs> you got your chin up the whole point. Of doing the Philly shell, of course, is it's a, it's a way that you can defend yourself in a way. But you're supposed to have your chin tucked. Like that shoulder is supposed to be covering your chin. And then you use that. You, you use your hand for that extra blockage. And then you're supposed to counter off of that. You're supposed to counter punch off of that. You're not supposed to stay in that for a little while. You only supposed to stand that for a little while, but you're not supposed to stay in that like for the whole fight. You know what I'm saying? The, like, but people be opening up all of this, and I'm like, that's why people still be getting knocked out. People be like, oh, only Floyd can do that. No, he, he's not the one that originated that either. I don't, but y'all not ready, ready for that. He's not the one. Yes, I like Tank. I don't care. Huh? Have y'all seen that 53-year-old sister win her title look up? Are you talking about Tori Nelson? She don't fight no more, though. Tori Nelson don't fight anymore. But if it ain't her, then I don't know. I'm going to look her up, though. Please don't ask me about Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. Please, please. I don't care about that. Please. Please. Yeah, they do. If you denounce, like, because you can say, like, it's not every promoter, but, like, 
you'll have some people that'll have a contract in the entertainment industry. And there'll be a fine print that says you can think you can say like you can thank God, but you can't say the most high. You can't say the true living God, uh Yahweh. You can't say Yahweh, you can't say Yeshua, you can't say Jesus, you can't you can't say anything pertaining to the true living God. Like you can just say, I want to thank God. Because and you can make anything your God. You can literally make anything your God. Even Baal. Baal is a demon. But if you look up in Strong's Concordance, what Baal mean, it means God. But it's not the true living God. It's a false God. It's a demon. So they, that's where, you know, they try to be slick with their wording with that. Where you can say, you can thank God, but you can't say Jesus, Yahuwah, Yeshua, the Most High Yahweh, Adonai. You can't say any of that. So, yeah. Peace. Because you ain't got to worry about me. <laughs> you do not have to worry about me at all. Jada, I'm 63 and still work out. I love that. Oh, hi, Miss Penny. I haven't seen you in a little minute. Um, I was thinking about it, uploading training tips well not look uploading training tips just like bits and pieces of my training but i don't feel like i'm that person to give out training tips i'm just a fighter but i mean i can I, I would just like i guess i'll start posting like what i eat and how to get like the weight off and stuff exercises that i do or what i drink and i guess i'll do that i don't take supplements yet um because you got to be careful with that because there's a list of stuff that you can't take and i don't want to i don't do no pets I don't, I don't do that exactly never too little for anything exactly king grayson like no, nah, it's not that God can be any God. It's not that you can make anything your God. So that's why they say that. But the true living God is Yahweh. It's Christ. Like, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. That's that. Nothing else. I don't operate in the spirit of confusion. I don't operate in that. And God is not the author of confusion. The true living God he is not the author of confusion. I don't even entertain that. Sweet Pea, yeah. Sweet Pea, I miss him. That's my cousin. I wish he would have lived longer. Even with that, I was just like, why, man? Like, why? Thank you. Um, whatever God has planned for me, King Grayson. Whatever he has planned for me, we'll see. Because I don't even know yet. I'm just doing the last thing he told me to do. And that was to pick it up again. So I'm getting into shape. So whatever coach he's going to place in my path and stuff like that, I'm waiting on that. But while I'm waiting, I'm working, you know. Faith without works is dead. Oh, the old Crunks gym. Oh, wow. No, I will not. I will not sign with PBC. <laughs> I'm good. Pay your fighters. That's all I'm going to say. Do you have a boxing nickname? I'm changing it. Um, people are in my hometown used to call me the technician. That's what my, my dad gave me that name, but I'm changing it. So I don't really. Yeah, I'm going to change it. Yeah, I love, I mean, I'm biased. Of course, I love Sweet Pea because that's my cousin. But when I didn't know, when we didn't know we were related, I still love Sweet Pea because his style is just like that. And when he fought in the Olympics, that's literally one of my favorite fight. Like, the favorite fights of him, like, me watching him fight was, like, him in the Olympics. Yeah. Yeah. 
But you know what? He always kept it real. You know, he was just like, he told me exactly. I didn't even ask him, but he told me what he did, like how he like fell off. Like he was, he was never, he was always honest when it was, he was like, you know, it's my fault and stuff like that. I got caught up. And I'm like, don't be beating yourself up. You're doing better now. You know what I'm saying? And you're giving back to the community. And I know it's a lot of what ifs and you know, sometimes I just wish I knew what I knew at an earlier age. That's why my children are going to know how to fight against spiritual warfare very early. But um, I wish I knew what I knew now around that time to help him. But it just wasn't meant. It wasn't meant. So I miss him. They don't make fighters like that no more. How do you deal with all the hate being the truth teller? They did it to Jesus. <laughs> they did it to him and the thing is with the real answer to that is god took me through my purification process he took me through my refining process where i had i'm tried by fire i had to go through that pruning that stretching you know it's not fun it it hurts but it's like you ever hear the same diamonds form under pressure it was a lot of pressure that i went through with God, um, him burning stuff off of me, him working on my heart, the things that God took me through, it was to prepare me for uh, moments like this. Because in the past, if I would have had this situation, I would have, it, it would have been bad. Like none of y'all would have been up here. It probably would have been like a couple of people, cause people are messy, but I just would have, this channel wouldn't have been glorifying God. It wouldn't. It, it wouldn't. That's the truth. If I didn't go through that process with him, it wouldn't be glorifying him. And then I would be on Instagram, Twitter, whatever, going back and forth with her. I just ignore her. Argue with your mama. Argue with those demons you entertain because I'm not arguing with you. You know what I'm saying? But it's like... um, it's not it's not easy um but i've dealt with this type of mess from my family as well y'all gonna hear me say that a lot because it's true I, i've dealt with this from my family you know they don't they don't let me tell the truth and it's really not them it's the demons that are attached to them the demons that they entertain the demons that are clean to them that's really mad you know but they have to humble themselves before god and get right but yeah, I mean, they did it to Jesus, so they're going to do it to me, being that I am a follower of him. So, it makes sense. And when you are truly led by the Holy Spirit, whether you're on the side of light or the side of darkness, people can see your light and do anything to try to dim it. So, if, if God wouldn't have taken me through that uncomfortable season of my life, eight months of just going through it, um... If I didn't go through that time of consecration where it was just me and him, I wouldn't be this humble. I wouldn't be this calm. Bro, the peace that you get, the peace, the quietness, the stillness that you get from God, bro, it's just different. Like, I would have dealt with this situation, like, wrong if I didn't spend time with him, if I didn't fast, if I didn't pray, if I didn't consecrate. That's a dynamite when you pray fast and consecrate bro that's a dynamite stuff ain't got no choice but to move demonic strongholds ain't got no choice but to get broken like it ain't easy but it's doable it is definitely doable no i wasn't i never went to the olympics i went to like olympic trial qualifiers and stuff but i've never been to the olympics Exactly. He was persecuted, so we're definitely going to be persecuted. Like, you know, and I had to realize that. I would always read that, but I really had to realize that. Like, dang, this is what it's really, really about. This is the truth. Um, only certain people call me Lil New or New New because New New was originally my dad's nickname. Um, but because I look just like my dad, like I'm a spitting image, even when I had my locks, it really didn't help. Like I could be out in Norfolk, 
going on a run or working somewhere and or I could be like at Wawa. I could be just out chilling and I'll have people come up to me and be like, you knew new daughter. I know you don't know who I am, but I went to school with your dad. You knew new daughter. You look just like him when he had dreads. Because I used to have them. They were like right here. Um, and these are yarn braids. People think I, I have dreads, but I used to. But um, these are yarn braids. But even, you know, if you look at them like this, it don't really look like it. But even now, people with, with me having my hair like this, people think I look like, like, people be like, you new, new daughter. Like, you look just like your dad, which that's scary. Because I'm, I'm glad my dad won a troublemaker. Like, I'm glad he won't out here just starting stuff. Because just imagine if he was. <laughs> I like Michael J. White. Uh, I see how people's boxing character relates to how they actually are. I'm sorry. Actually are when I became a boxer. I'm not a rude and aggressive person. Trash talking. I see a lot of people try to copy that to get views. Man, that is not for me. That's facts, though. That's not for me, though. I'm not a trash talker. Despite me being a hothead in the past and stuff like that, I am not a trash talker. Are we going to fight? <laughs> I like all of this talking, and that's why I can't really get with how fighters do. It's like they spend their time on social media all day long, going back and forth, being petty. Brother, I'm not, I'm, that's not for me. And I have somebody be like, oh, you're not built for that. Thank you. That's a compliment. Thank you. I, you're you're absolutely right. Yeah, darn Skippy. I really want to say the D word just because I like how it sounds. <laughs> Look, I'd be honest. I'd be honest. But yeah, I'm not built for that because that's annoying. I could be doing something that's worth, you know what I'm saying? Arguing back and forth, making rap videos. <laughs> making rap videos, being an internet warrior what i thank god for the men i grew up around because just different like i said the fighters in the 80s i love them the grit like everything it was just different it was like all right bro are we fighting or not and i just feel like with this generation everybody want to act like something they're not on the internet to get views but you can't back it up you know you can't back it up weird Facts, Jay, my whole, uh, I'll say my whole childhood, because I'm only 26. <laughs> but my childhood, my childhood, all the way up until now, one trial after the other, people not liking me, because I'm just a black sheep everywhere, like, just a black sheep, period. Like, at one point in time, that would really get to me. sins is our prosecution that way god came in the flesh as jesus to save us the father son and holy spirit is one i don't know why people try to divide it but that's not the case like even be before jesus came on earth like physically like he was the angel of the lord like if y'all read the story about abraham and sarah um which his name was abram and her name was sarah like god changed her names but um like even if you read that story and it speaks on like those three men coming or you know uh sarah was listening to the conversation of the man saying basically uh sarah's gonna abort a child and she started laughing it's like how can y'all not see that that was jesus the whole time like jesus was the angel of the lord like so it, i just find that like I, i'll never understand that like Genesis 1 and 26 says, let us form man into our own image. Like, he's not seeing us as a, like, you know, you have to understand God has always spoken in parables. Like, and when it comes to that scripture, it's like, you need the Holy Spirit to interpret scripture. Like, you need the Holy Spirit to interpret scripture. Or you're going to miss small, subtle things like that. But it's always been 
the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit in one. Jesus was literally conceived by the Holy Spirit. Like, I don't know why people be missing it. Like, God is omnipresent through his Holy Spirit. He exists through his Holy Spirit. It's one God. It's three expressions of him, you know. And people may not even still get it if I say it this way. But it doesn't make me three different people because I'm a sister, auntie, and a boxer or because of the roles that I have it doesn't make me three different or like multiple people I'm still the same Jada I just have many roles and it's like I don't know I guess you just have to spend more time with God and ask him to show you how to get it it's another example you could have a cup of water a cup of ice a cup of dry ice and if you don't know what dry ice is it's like they put it in your drink, but it has like this smoky, you know, and that represents that could represent the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But what do they all have in common? They're just three different forms of H2O. That's literally it. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's just three different forms of H2O. So that's that's what I like to use when I'm teaching children and stuff like that about God, and even adults. Sometimes you gotta, I hate to say the word dumb it down, but sometimes you gotta make it simple. I always love that analogy. I'm like, think of a cup of ice, a cup of water, a cup of dry out, dry ice. What is this basic form? H2O, just three different forms. It's the same thing with the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's the same, just three different forms of God. But like I said, some people, They'd be like, nah, I don't believe that. Or, okay, well, you just got to spend time with God to, so he can break it down to you um, the way the way you'll understand it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Everybody's not going to get it how, you know, I get it or somebody else get it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Just got into a big fight with my brother. No punches was thrown. Good. I was about to ask. He was talking to me crazy in front of mom to get my reaction, and he triggered. Now I'm the bad guy and evil. I keep hearing the word narcissist, and I see it very clearly. <laughs> I'm not even lying. I keep hearing narcissist, and I'm seeing it very clearly. Boy, that hits home for me. That hits home for me. That hits home for me. I understand. I understand. We can all say that, though, Ryan, XV Ryan, you saying you let him win then. Okay, well, you put yourself in that position, though. Everything is not going to be perfect. Like, you have to meet people halfway. I've been in a situation like that, uh, Seraphine Guardians. I've been in a situation like that before, and, yeah, punches was thrown, for sure. I slammed, too, my sibling. I sure did. I slammed her, and boop, boop, boop. I let a lot slide for years. At that time, it was about 17 years between what her and my mom would do to me when my dad was at work. I let a lot slide. So I feel you on that. But it, it doesn't, um, I hate when people like that do that because it does not um, stop the fact that they're narcissists. Like, I don't know what be wrong with some of y'all. Um but definitely Jesus is Lord absolutely copper Jesus Christ is God he's Lord Jesus is Lord and you know with people that may not get how that's true um I just you know I ask God to see I ask God to show them how he showed me or it don't even have to be how he showed me it don't have to be how he showed me uh, I just be like show them the way that they'll understand you know what I'm saying? Um, it could be... I don't argue back and forth with people because I know what God has shown me and I know what I see. I'm always seen. I'm a seer in Christ. I always have vision. So I don't argue back and forth with people or try to prove a point. I just be like, okay, God, we'll just help them. Um, just help them the way you know how. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of false teachings that have happened and stuff like that. And... Um, there's nothing wrong with doing your research, but if you don't have the Holy Spirit, that's a, that's also a problem too. So, yeah. I don't, you know, you just got to let people know for themselves. 
everybody's not gonna um everybody's not gonna get it and everybody's not gonna just change right then and there you gotta give people grace you gotta extend grace to others just like he extends grace to us because at one point in time i was very ignorant and you know i, I just thought like well there should only be one god how's it the father son holy spirit that sounds like three like how's it one like i was at that point too so just let god be god i think that'd be our problem sometimes we try to be like him um i did let him win but it's harder when it's family manipulating the situation and it hurt very true very true you're valid to your feelings ain't no shutting down feelings around here we don't do that we don't do that and i'm sorry that you had to go through that um i just ask god give you the strength um and to protect you because you just, yeah it'd be your own family yeah um but like i said i'm just scrolling down i'm just scrolling down the comments but i don't i don't argue with anybody um they'll find out for themselves when god shows them it could be in a dream i really hope it's a dream I, i'm a dreamer myself so it could be in a dream it could be in any way he wants to do it but you know going back and forth about it y'all it's not gonna do nothing you just you gotta extend that person grace i've had people extend grace to me because i was just like but jesus is you know i, I believe jesus is real but how is he god like can y'all show me like yes jesus is lord i'm seeing that but how how you know and i needed to know how and god broke it down to me the way i understood and i've seen that seen this for myself so just extend grace to others y'all like there's a lot of stuff that we don't know that we're still learning about ourselves you know what i'm saying a few weeks ago i'm glad i had the door locked a crazy uh mental ill lady came knocking at my door i didn't know i ignored her and waited yeah these spirits be running rampant um, watching pfl on espn too cool yes i follow pro boxing the trinity is not a man-made doctrine it's literally just stating that the father's on the holy spirit is one which is true so like i said i don't argue with stuff that i actually know but yeah um oh that was thick okay i rebuke that in the name of jesus I rebuke that. it's weird i'll either hear ringing or the sound will go completely out when i say i rebuke you in the name of jesus is like gone Yeah. Catholics pray to angels, dead, and Virgin Mary. But that's not the Trinity, though. That's not the Holy Trinity. There's nothing holy about that. Nothing about Satan. He likes to pervert anything that God did first. Because he wants to be like God so bad. So, you know, he perverts. To pervert something literally means to twist. You know, it's wicked. But... Yeah, it does. It takes studying the scriptures from beginning to end and ask the Holy Spirit to help you understand the scriptures is not hard. Yeah, y'all, that's all you have to do. It's going to take time, you know. Um, yeah, it, it, stuff like that takes time. Arguing about it is not going to do anything. <laughs> it's just not. It, it's not. You have to plant that seed and keep it moving. Would you do Total Combat League? No. No. <laughs> Let's not even get into that, please. Let's not even get into Team Combat League. Let's not. Oh, God. I would never. Unless unless it was, like, a God thing where he's like, no, you can, this, that, and the third. Like, But God has better for me, has greater for me, and no. The stuff I know, I'm good. 
I'm good. I got people that I know that are with them. And the stuff that goes on, like, it's just weird. I'm good. Because you're not going to play in my face. You're not going to play in my face. You're just not. Um, I don't get how my cousin walks around after midnight. I know not to mess the witching hour that he don't believe I guess and that's why he's easily attacked that's why he's easily attacked I'm not saying give the kingdom of darkness any power no but be aware that this stuff is real and that you need to know how to fight spiritually <laughs> um hi martini <laughs> how are you um, I just got finished saying a lot. I'm about to get off here because I don't want this live to be too long like the other ones are. I'm really trying to cut down on the time. Um, I think we're past an hour and 30. <laughs> but yeah, the beginning of this live, I was just um, being classy about addressing uh, Pharaoh. <laughs> That's her name. Pharaoh, which is Clarissa. We call her Pharaoh over here, but yeah, and just you know, the audio she played and what she, the rest of what she didn't play, you know, and um, just exposing more in a classy way because I'm a real woman, I'm a real lady. Um, so that's what the first hour or so of this live was about, but yeah. Um, but yeah, <laughs> Davis Mills left from Detroit. Hey, y'all men are fine. <laughs> let me tell y'all, and I'm about to get off of here, but let me tell y'all. God did his thing with them Detroit men. Bless their hearts. <laughs> DC, I love my DC people. I, hey, how you doing? I love, love, love my DC people. But yes, them the, the Detroit, like I said, not all of them. It's very few, heavy on very few. But I got, I got love for them. Don't mean I want to be a little hoe, okay? And ain't say all that. I'm just complimenting. Because people be getting it mixed up. That lust be eating y'all up. <laughs> that lust be eating y'all up. And can. And can. Can definitely dress. Okay. Let's not even get started on that. I just be feeling safe. <laughs> like I have a friend. And he is handsome. He's a He's a handsome piece of human. Yes he is. Very handsome. Um. I don't look at him no other way. I wouldn't look at him no other way. But we became real cool. Um, and he's fine. He keep up with himself. He dress nice. You know, he bout his money the right way, too. I ain't talking about, you know, that that street stuff. I don't respect that. But take care of his, you know, his family. Them men are beautiful human beings. <laughs> But yeah, I'm about to get up here. I'll get off of here, y'all. I love y'all. Um, give God his time. Give him some time. I may come up here in the middle of the night. Close to like, that's if God wants me to. Like 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning. Because that, that'd be the time where people really be going through it. A lot happens at that time. So we'll see. We will see. But, um, um. Yeah. Dwell in the presence of God. Get to know who Christ is for yourself. Uh, I'm a forever rap. I'm a forever rap that Jesus Christ is Lord. I think I'm going to make some t-shirts saying Jesus Christ is Lord. Okay. Stop playing about my God. <laughs> um, I have a question because my little brother wants to box. What's up? And then after I answer his question, I'm getting off. But what's up? 
about your little brother and how old is he? You know, we go to work eight to twenty, eight to eight, ten, twelve. Y'all do. I know this man. He, this was in Flint, though. He drove trucks all the time. Like, he drove trucks all the time and was still, like, find time to work out. That's when people be like, oh, I have to work. And I'm like, this man literally is on the road 25 8 and still makes a way to get in the gym, takes care of himself, locks on point because he had long locks, locks on point. I mean, always groom himself well. That's why I said some Detroit men, some some men from Flint. But even him, he was like, you know, I really like live in Detroit, though. So that's why I just said Detroit as a whole, because a lot of the men that I met that were in Flint, they're really from Detroit. Um, they just be like, I'm here for a little while because I drive trucks. A lot of them drive trucks. But, um, yeah, I mean tried to wife me up and I was like yeah no that's not happening you got too much going on and um I'm sorry y'all I don't trust truck drivers I heard too many stories I said what I said I said what I said I do not trust truck drivers <laughs> I don't I don't trust them um at all once again y'all um, I don't do the bickering and arguing back and forth. Let me make this very clear. And then I'm really getting off. I serve the true living God. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. I don't care for nobody else's opinion. I am a seer in Christ. I am a prophetess in Christ. When you spend time with God for real, the truth has no choice but to come up. So on this channel, we glorify God. We glorify the kingdom of God. Jesus Christ is Lord, and that's on that. Argue with your mama. I don't care. But I said what I said, and that's what this channel is about, and that's what it's going to be about. So all the arguing in the comments needs to cease. Because I will. I don't care. I will turn this whole thing off. <laughs> I will sit there and mute these comments every time, single time I get on live. Do not disrespect, be disrespectful. I don't play them type of games up here. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is God. Jesus is God. And until you are humble enough, truly, I don't care how old you are, until you are humble enough to understand that and to go through your process where it's just you and God, for a season, for months and months at a time, then you'll understand because he has to show you that. Man can't change a man's heart. He can. So this is what this channel is about. And you have a choice now. You can unsubscribe. You don't have to get up here. But Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus is God. That's not, a, that's not an opinion. That's facts. And I know people like to be ignorant and, oh, that's a white man's religion, this, that, and the third. I'm sorry that you were brainwashed to think that when these men that were enslaving our ancestors didn't even have a relationship with God and wasn't living godly at all. Wasn't, wasn't even living godly whatsoever. So that's what it is. Jesus Christ is Lord. He was not just the son of God. He was not just a prophet. Jesus is God. And if you don't like that, like I said, I don't care. That's what it is. If you're so humble like you say you are, I'm hearing this very strong. If you're humble like you say you are, come to me and ask me. Says the spirit of the living God, come to me and ask me. And I will show you who I really am. If you humble like you say you are. If you humble like you think you are. Come to me and ask me. Jeremiah 3 and 33. Call on me and I will answer you. And show you the unsearchable things that you do not know. And I'm leaving it at that. Y'all have a good night. I may see y'all 2, 3 in the morning. Second watch or third watch. But that's what it is. 
Um, I don't care what nobody says. I said what I said. Jesus Christ is Lord. Have a good one.